Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet has reiterated that Singapore's economy is not at a stage where extraordinary measures are needed, even as the country narrowly avoided a technical recession in the third quarter. But he does say that the government is looking at more extensive consultations with business leaders in the coming months as it maps out measures to weather the storm. Mr. Heng spoke at the end of a visit to China. Olivia Xiong reports from Beijing. As the China-U.S. trade war continues, Singapore has not been spared from the global economic fallout. Earlier this week, the Monetary Authority of Singapore announced that the Singapore dollar would adopt a slightly slower rate of appreciation. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says the government has been keeping a close eye on the economic situation. Budget 2020 is coming up in a few months' time and we'll continue to monitor the, the state of the global economy. And there are many sectors in our, sec in our economy that are still uh, growing. So you see fairly, while well, overall there's weakness, you see fairly uneven uh, performances across the different areas. But we are not at a stage where we need to uh, mount extraordinary measure. So what we need to continue to focus on is on uh, structural policies. The country's industry transformation maps are an important part of this. And Mr. Heng said that Singapore's early implementation has given it a head start. That's because people now have a better understanding of the opportunities that technological advances bring. In the coming months, Mr. Heng said the government intends to get more businesses involved in the discussion and to work together as measures to address the economic headwinds are prepared. Now, Mr. Heng was speaking to Singapore media at the end of a four-day visit to China, which took him to Chongqing, Tianjin and Beijing. On Thursday, Mr. Heng met Chinese Vice Premier Liu He, who has been China's lead negotiator in ongoing trade talks with the U.S. Mr. Heng said that Mr. Liu shared Singapore's view that the China-U.S. trade conflict is bad for every country and an early resolution would benefit everyone. But he added it is not realistic to expect all issues to be resolved in just a few meetings. China has said it hopes to reach a phased agreement with the U.S. as soon as possible. Being able to agree on a number of key areas will be important progress and in turn that will provide for greater confidence to investors, not just in the US and China but all around the world. And I think the restoration of global confidence is important for investors, it's important for us to tackle these longer term challenges and important for us to harness the, uh, the use of uh, better technology in the coming years. Mr. Heng was also asked about the relationship between Chinese leaders and Singapore's fourth generation lineup. A large number of office holders had accompanied him on this trip. The various members of the 4G leadership have been involved in various bilateral councils and business councils for a number of years now. Uh, whether they started off when they were uh, SMSs or MOSs and now as they move out as ministers they have been uh, much more deeply uh, involved. So you take for example uh, Minister Desmond Lee, he has been to, uh, yesterday was my first visit to Tianjin but it was his third visit and similarly with all the other ministers, they all uh, have been involved in various ways. To continue to be effective in engaging China, Mr. Heng said that Singapore must stay relevant and see how it can play a role at various stages of the country's development. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing. DPM Heng also met Chinese Vice President Wang Qishan today. They reaffirmed the strong ties between China and Singapore built by past generations of leaders. Mr. Wang said that the mechanism for cooperation has been working well and the ties are set to get even better as both sides mark 30 years of diplomatic relations next year. New areas of collaboration are being explored, including financial connectivity.